the first generation Volvo XC60 was a tremendous success and one of the best selling Volvos in the history. The second generation was just awarded 2018 World Car of the Year and it continues to set new record sales. Let's check what, besides exceptional design, makes it such a successful SUV. The T8 version has probably one of the most complicated powertrains in the industry. The car is powered by 313 horsepower, supercharged and turbocharged inline 4 gasoline engine and 87 horsepower electric motor. The combined output is 400 horsepower, which results in 0 to 60 in about 5 seconds. The car features what Volvo calls electronic all wheel drive, which means the front wheels are powered by the gasoline engine and rear ones are powered by electric motor. There is no rear drive shaft, however if you select the all-wheel drive mode, the power output will be split 50-50. Due to the complicated powertrain, the 8-speed transmission gets confused when you push the car to the limits. You have to be aware that despite its horsepower, the XC60 is not a sport-oriented car. When you drive it normally, everything works together very well, change in power source is unnoticeable and gearbox is very smooth. The pure electric range on fully charged batteries is around 18 miles and average fuel consumption in hybrid mode is around 23.5 mpg. The second generation XC60 is based on a new scalable architecture which is designed specifically for electrification, so in the future, Volvo may release fully electric version of this car. Chassis-wise, the XC60 uses air springs and adjustable dampers. What it means is that the car can raise itself or lower, based on the driving mode. The suspension itself is extremely refined and it soaks up bumps very well. By selecting the off-road mode, the ground clearance goes up from 8.3 inches to almost 10 inches. If you pick the power mode, the ground clears will go down to about 6 inches. The XC60 is very stable and predictable, handles surprisingly well for its size and weight, but as I mentioned before, this is not a sport-oriented SUV. Once you step inside the XC60, it will blow you away. The interior is probably the best part of the car. The design is remarkable and fit and finish is great. Everything fits together very well, there is no panel gaps, nothing rattles. The seats are comfy, but in my opinion previous generation had better seats. You can obviously adjust them in multiple ways in order to get the perfect seating position and they can be ventilated with the massage function. There is more than enough room in the back seat, even for adults, and the trunk has almost 18 cubic feet of space. The Volvo XC60 is technologically advanced vehicle. Let's start with the infotainment system. It takes forever to boot up, and to get it fully functional, you have to wait at least a minute or so. Once it boots up, it is incredibly smooth and easy to use. You pretty much control every feature of this vehicle from that screen, including climate control. Next is Volvo's Pilot Assist system, which is a semi-autonomous feature. It is one of the best in the business, it slows down and accelerates very smoothly and precisely keeps you in lane, but I only trust it on the highway. On a curvy back road it gets confused and is not able to take sharper turns. The MSRP of my fully loaded tester is $71,000, making the XC60 T8 one of the most expensive SUVs in the segment. However, keep in mind that the T8 model qualifies for a $5,000 federal tax credit since it's a plug-in hybrid. The Volvo XC60 has a great driving dynamics, very refined ride quality, quiet and spacious interior. No wonder why it was announced 2018 World Car of the Year. Hats off Volvo, or I should say, hat that off. <laughs>